Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we will be talking about the intriguing health condition known as HIT, or heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. Let's first understand the basics. Heparin is used to prevent blood clotting, but in some individuals, it can trigger an immune response, leading to the formation of abnormal antibodies. These antibodies mistakenly recognize a complex of platelet factor IV and heparin, causing the activation of platelets, leading to their destruction. This results in a decreased platelet count, a condition known as thrombocytopenia. So, what are the causes and pathophysiology behind HIT? Well, HIT is caused by an immune reaction triggered by heparin. There are two types. HIT type 1, which is non-immune and generally mild, causes a transient drop in platelet count. Type 2, however, is immune-mediated and more severe. In type 2, the immune system mistakes heparin-bound platelet factor IV complexes as foreign, leading to the production of antibodies. These antibodies activate platelets, resulting in the formation of blood clots and potentially life-threatening complications such as deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism. Now we know what it is, so what we can do to conquer this condition. The first step is to stop the heparin. Next is to find an alternative anticoagulant such as direct thrombin inhibitors, argotrobin or bivalirudin, or factor XA inhibitors like fondaparinux. These anticoagulants do not trigger platelet activation, thus preventing further clot formation. Understanding the pathophysiology of HIT is fundamental for healthcare professionals to recognize and manage this condition effectively, reducing the risks associated with thrombosis while ensuring adequate anticoagulation. So let's take a deep dive into the pathophysiology of this crucial hematological condition. Parin and platelet factor IV, or PF4. Heparin is an anticoagulant that works by binding to antithrombin 3, enhancing its inhibitory effect on clotting factors. During its use, heparin can induce conformational changes in platelet factor IV, POR4, a protein stored in platelet granules. Antibody formation. In certain individuals, exposure to heparin can lead to the formation of antibodies against the heparin PF4 complex. These antibodies recognize the heparin PF4 complex as foreign and trigger an immune response. Immune reaction. The antibodies formed in response to the heparin PF4 complex activate platelets through the F gamma receptor 2AA, even in the absence of heparin. This activation triggers a cascade of events that lead to platelet aggregation and the release of procoagulant microparticles. Thrombosis and platelet destruction. The activated platelets release substances that contribute to increased thrombin generation and the formation of blood clots, a process known as thrombosis. Simultaneously, platelet activation leads to their destruction and clearance from circulation, resulting in a decreased platelet count that is thrombocytopenia. Thrombotic complications, these immune-mediated reactions can lead to both arterial and venous thrombosis. This increased risk of thrombosis poses severe health risks for affected individuals, including deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, and potentially life-threatening conditions. If it is suspected, timely consultation with a hematologist or specialized healthcare provider is crucial for appropriate management. The path of physiology of HIT is complex and necessitates careful monitoring, prompt recognition, and appropriate management to prevent severe thrombotic complications. If you suspect HIT, seek immediate medical attention for proper evaluation and treatment. That's our detailed exploration of heparin-induced thrombocytopenia. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay informed, and until next time, take care.